Hello Dave, this is AdFree, thanks to all you guys supporting the channel on Patreon. All income from donations and Patreon are used directly to upgrade cameras, light, microphones, software, things that allow me to produce more and better looking videos for you guys. All Patreons also get a discount at the merch store and you have the option to get your name listed at the end of every video. So become a Patreon by following the link in the video description. Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Monday, and I mean the weekend is over and it's time for Hello Day. Let's dive into the news and I'm actually going to start with a thing that I forgot to talk about last week, so I'm just going to do it now even though it's a bit late now, but that is the fact that there is a small glimpse of hope that Elite may get full-on cross-play between the different platforms. Now, um, I think the reason why we don't have cross-play in Elite right now is not a technical problem in that it could happen um, technically but I think it's Sony that's um, that's blocking it where um, they don't at the, until recently haven't allowed the um, the players from the uh, the PlayStation to play together have cross-play with uh, with other platforms unless in some exclusive titles I think but but in general, they, they, they wouldn't allow something like that. And I think based on that, Frontier then made the decision and rather than saying, oh, so Xbox and computer can play together, but PlayStation is their own thing over there. So they just decided to split it up into three different platforms. But there seems to be opening up some opportunities to maybe get more games uh, with cross-platform with PlayStation as well. And if, whether that's going to come to Elite, I'm not really sure. That really depends on... Um, on Frontier's like future plans for Elite. I mean, so far, of course, we have the roadmap until the end of next year. Um, but again, I don't think we're going to see crossplay come in as part of that update. I mean, that's already been planned what they're going to introduce, and I believe crossplay is going to be a, I mean, a rather significant update on the back end part of the, pro of the of the game itself. But but it's probably not going to. I mean, it's not going to add a whole lot to the game other than we've got to have a lot of players to suddenly can play together, which would obviously be very nice. The game's going to be a little more populated. Um, but I feel like there's a lot of work that has to go into enabling that and to ensuring that it's actually working uh, working properly um, without adding a whole lot of new gameplay or anything to the game. So whether it's actually going to, going to come into a game like Elite... Um, I'm I'm not so sure. I mean, if Frontier is still planning to keep Elite running for five years to come, then maybe sure, they, maybe they would prioritize something like that at some point. But personally, I don't think we're going to see it uh, in Elite. Unfortunately, it would be really nice, especially when I'm hosting events, um, to have the opportunity to invite in um, console players as well, which right now is kind of their own thing. Last week, of course, we also had the third Interstellar Initiative starting on its first phase. This one's called the Scourge, and it started with a little um, little history of some systems that had some crop harvests that failed, and there's now a trade community goal to transport some uh, some goods and community, uh, commodities into uh, into the system. But of course, these Interstellar Initiatives are always running in multiple phases, often three or four phases so far with the ones we've seen. Um, I think three or four. I'm not actually 100% sure. I think maybe four. Um, and in the majority of cases, at least the two cases we have in so far, um, there has been something added into the game. Um, nothing major, but, you know, small things. I mean, first we got the um, the ferry down to um, down to the Guardian space, and secondly we got uh, one of the advanced weapons that could work both as normal weapons as as anti cena weapons. Not really the most useful items, but again, I still like the idea and well, we can only hope. Now exactly where this is going to develop, where this is going to go, of course, I don't know yet. I don't really have a guess. Some of the other ones, they've been a little bit more um, predictable, I think, in terms of what the storyline was. But this one is, I'm not really sure. I mean, where does this this go from here? I mean, hopefully we complete the community goal, but, but what the story is going to be from there, I don't know. But I guess I can tell you next week in, uh, in Hello Dave. I got some uh, some fan mail from uh, from a guy called Ronald. He makes these um, these wooden kits that uh, like you you assemble, and he sent me. I'm gonna read that in a bit. Ah. Come on, here we go. Oh, there's more in here. Hold on. Oh, that is cool. 
Is it, capt is it, is it capturing this? Look at that. Oh, that's cool. So, okay, I have to open all this up, but he sent me not only this. Oh, this is like a postcard. Look at that. It's like a wooden postcard. I don't know how well this is probably a little bit overexposed. Let's see if we can turn down the lights a little bit so you can see it better. Like that. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> okay, now he makes these these wooden like assembly kits and um, and the one he sent me is like a small um, Ori, like a small uh, solar system. Um, let's have it here, let's see if we have a drawing of it inside. Oh, there's lots of tiny pieces here. Gotta be careful. Ah, yeah, here we go. You can see it. It's like a model like this that you, uh, that you assemble and can then turn the handle and then you have like uh, like like the sun and the earth and the moon and they're all orbiting around each other and i'm gonna put that there and it then comes in in like these plates here gotta be careful because all of these are loose they didn't have to sit and uh, and assemble that's gonna be a a nice weekend project for me here i'm just gonna quickly pack this down again so i'm sure that i'm not gonna lose any of the parts that would really really suck he sent over a, a small uh, a small letter as well. Let's get the lights back on here. There we go. He says, Hi, down with astronomy. Thanks for all the awesome content. I'm currently trying to get more modules engineered, but it's a bit of a struggle to obtain all the stuff. I have a few mid-tier ships and also saving up for something a bit bigger in the future. Or mid-tier ships or mid-sized ships. Hope you enjoy the Ori. Best regards. Ronnie. Roni. Thanks a lot. This is really awesome. I'm gonna really much look forward to this. I'm gonna make sure to post some. Uh, see, there's some more stuff in here. Oh, yeah, there is something. Hold on, what is this? Uh, oh, okay, it's like a business card. Designer wooden objects. Cool. I'm going to link to his website uh, in the description below the video. If you're interested, you can go down and you can have a look at uh, at his stuff over there. Um. There's a lot more than just just this. Just multiple different items. Really, really cool. I'm definitely going to enjoy this. Thanks a lot, man. Of course, tomorrow there will be a live stream at seven o'clock in game time. The plan for tomorrow is to go out and pluck some murder flowers, squish some bugs, kill some thargoids. I finished the the builds that we worked on last week. We just need a few more modules engineered. They're now done, and I've been having a lot of fun over the weekend, um, killing uh, killing thargoids. And the plan is tomorrow that first just quickly gonna nice and casual start up to try to take down a cyclops move up and see if i can solo a um, um what's the next one basilisk i think and um, if that goes well then we might have, we have extra time we're gonna wing up with some people um, and see if we can take down a medusa or something uh, if a, or even a hydra if we're lucky and can actually find one but that's all gonna happen tomorrow we're gonna see if we can, uh, can go and kill some bucks it's a ton of fun and i hope i'll see you there that's going to be it for this week. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And until next time, I will see you guys in space.